Well, there's Senator Orrin Hatch doing his best to jazz up the confirmation hearings for Supreme Court nominee Elena Kagan, who looks to be on track for Senate approval as day three of her hearing gets underway today. Joining us now, none other than Utah Senator Orrin Hatch, a member of the Judiciary Committee on the Republican side. Senator, good morning to you. Nice to, nice to talk to both of you. Well, um, I don't know if you thought they were boring as hell or not, but I have to ask you how you thought uh, Elena Kagan did in her confirmation yesterday. Of course, I, I believe you voted yes for her confirmation as Solicitor General. Did anything happen yesterday uh, that, that makes you feel that you can't vote for her as a Supreme Court nominee? Well, I haven't made up my mind yet on this, but uh, yeah, there are some things that trouble me quite a bit. Uh, on the other hand, uh, sh uh, she came across very well in many ways. and. I like her very much. She's a good person and, and very, very smart lawyer and I think, uh, you know, has a terrific personality in many ways. Are you of the mindset, Senator, that elections have consequences so, you know, where George W. Bush, in, in, you were upset at the way Democrats filibustered Alito. Do you think it's appropriate, for instance, for Republicans to present a filibuster of Elena Kagan? Well, Republicans have never filibustered a judge. Uh, the only ones that have are Democrats, and I might add our current president was one of the filibusters. He at least voted for, you know, against cloture. Or, and uh, I have So you to believe it's you. inappropriate? You believe it's inappropriate to do it? I, wrote, I even wrote a law review article that I think that advice and consent means you can give advice to the president, but then consent means a vote up or down, and I think we ought to do it that way. Now, I, I, I don't think there's any really serious discussion about filibustering uh, uh, Elena Kagan or any other judge for that matter on the part of Republicans. Now, Democrats, it's another matter. But, uh, Senator Hatch, you, you mentioned a couple moments ago that there were some things that troubled you about her. What's number one on your list? Well, there are a number of things. Uh, certainly, certainly her discussion of the uh, of uh, the military recruitment issue I wasn't quite as accurate as I thought she should be and there are some other things as well. Uh, the, I thought uh, in my discussion with her on, on free speech, you know, it was apparent that the Democrats were going to try and use this hearing, figure she's going to go through, there are 59 Democrats, and there will certainly be some Republicans who will vote for her, so they're going to use the hearing to try and uh, slam, uh, you know, slam uh, Bush and, and others and slam the, especially the the uh, Roberts court. And, uh, and, and so they used the Citizen United case to do it. And my gosh, the Citizen United case upheld at least 25 precedents over the years and o only overruled one precedent in the favor of free speech. Then they used the Ledbetter case. Uh, this woman, uh, you know, was not treated fairly uh, according to uh, her right. and her attorneys. And, and the problem was is that Congress had passed the legislation setting a statute of limitations. The only way to change it was to have Congress change it. And yet they jumped, dumped all over uh, Congress like it was, uh, you know, in, in the Bush administration, like they weren't trying to do what's right. Uh, these are the type of things that get on my nerves as an attorney, that uh, when you abuse the law and start misrepresenting the law in order to get cheap political points, that gets pretty old. Senator, you know, yes, yesterday and today and the day before, we've had a long debate about Elena Kagan. Uh, right. And we've seen everybody question her, spend a lot of time with her. Yesterday, the, uh, another Senate committee went, basically didn't have a debate uh, on a confirmation hearing for General David Petraeus. Was that appropriate? Was it too fast? Should there have been some debate about what's going on in Afghanistan? I mean, it was done so quickly to the point of where it seems as ever, nobody wanted to have a discussion about the war. Well, there's a difference between debating Afghanistan, which they can do at any time on the Armed Services Committee or Foreign Relations Committee or Intelligence Committee, for that matter. But uh, 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 in contrast to uh, debating uh, General Petraeus, I, mean, I don't even think they needed a hearing for that. The man is uh, the best we have in the military. By the way, I, I think General McChrystal deserves a lot more credit than people give him. He, he's fought hard for this country, been in all kinds of dangerous situations, is one of the great generals. And it's just a shame that this has happened. But uh, uh, but uh, nobody can deny that the president did a good thing by putting uh, uh, General Petraeus in there. And th I, there's no question he's going to be confirmed, no question that uh, right. this man is sacrificing for you, me, and everybody else, and we ought to be behind him. All right, Senator Orrin Hatch, Republican of Utah, thank you for your time, sir. We appreciate it. Nice to be with you.